I, I want somebody who understand me. That's it. I really want somebody who don't know me. I want her to support me, but at the same time, not give a f about what I got going on. In the industry where mostly Chicago and New York rappers rule, a boy from Louisiana came and became a regular fixture on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. His name is Kentrell Deshaun Galden, aka NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy was born on the 20th October 1999 as Kentrell Deshaun Galden in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fans loved the authentic street style rap that became NBA's trademark, and every music publication gave him the title of the rising star in the music industry. Things were going well for him when he got himself embroiled in multiple controversies related to drugs and murders, which ended up derailing his career. In this video, we'll take a look at the journey of the NBA young boy from how he started to what he's up to now. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Tell us in the comments below which artist should NBA young boy collab with. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new PlayStation 5, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Humble Beginnings and Initial Success When Youngboy was studying in 9th grade, he dropped out of high school and started engaging in criminal activities. Then he got arrested and was sent to the detention center. Even after being released from the center, he didn't change his ways. He even started his musical journey by stealing money to buy the necessary musical equipments. Unlike most of the rappers, he didn't focus on creating one viral song. When he started his career, he kept making songs that resonated with him, without thinking much about commercial success. He started small by releasing mixtapes that helped him gain a loyal fan following. The mixtapes focused on figuring out his own authentic style. In 2017, when he had already been working for two years, he caught the eyes of a manager in Atlantic Records. In 2018, his song Outside a Day became his breakout hit. It climbed high on the Billboard chart and peaked at the 31st position. After this, he released his first full-length album, Until Death Call My Name, and it claimed the seventh spot on Billboard Top 200 chart. Legal Issues since a young age, NBA has been getting into trouble with the law. Before he turned 18, he took many trips to juvie, and after becoming an adult, he even served a sentence in prison. While earlier, he used to get arrested for petty thefts, as he grew older, the nature of his crimes also got serious. From shooting to kidnapping, his charge sheet is filled with all kinds of crime. Open fired at strangers. In 2016, right before his concert in Texas, NBA was by the cops for open firing at a crowd in South Baton Rouge Street. The police held his bail on a $200,000 bond. Later, NBA tried to put the blame on the police by saying they only arrested him because he was famous. As much as he defended that he wasn't the one to pull the trigger, he couldn't cover the fact that he was hanging out with the wrong crowd. In such a situation, it could be guessed easily that he might have wanted to show off his bad boy side and decided to do something reckless. In 2017, he took the plea deal, which had one count of assault with a firearm. Arrested on kidnapping charges In 2018, NBA was arrested on three charges kidnapping, weapon violations, and assault, right before he was about to go on stage. TMZ reported that he had assaulted his then-girlfriend, Janiah Jackson. And their whole fight was recorded on the CCTV camera. In the video, it could clearly be seen that young boy pushed someone to the ground. After seeing the video, the cops arrested him. Later, Janiah tweeted that it wasn't her in the video, but the police were sure that the guy was young boy, and he had hit someone, even if it wasn't his girlfriend. Involvement in Drug Peddling in 2020, cops arrested 16 big shot people for drug and weapon manufacturing in Louisiana, and NBA was one of them. He was mainly arrested for charges in drug distribution cases. His lawyers tried to work the case by saying their client doesn't even take anything, but the judges saw his history and couldn't believe that he had nothing to do with the whole racket. Running away from FBI In 2021, things got really serious for Youngboy when he got arrested by the FBI. They had warrants against him that he had used K-9, which was a stolen weapon. He was driving when the police surrounded him. Instead of cooperating with them, he decided to run on foot, but eventually got caught. He was then released on bail of $1.5 million. What NBA is doing now? In September 2020, Galden released his second studio album titled Top. It had 21 songs and featured many big names, like Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne. The album topped the Billboard chart as fans went crazy for the songs. After that, he released another mixtape and continued his hit streak with Until I Return. He also collaborated with Rich the Kid and Nobody Safe. Exactly one year later in September 2021, he topped the charts again with his third studio album, Sincerely Kentrell. Fans have high hopes from him in 2022, and they're sure that even this year he will focus more on music and stay out of trouble. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which Youngboy song is your most favorite. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. 
Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.